Hello again, everyone. Um, I've been having a bit more of an experiment with the um, gilding gum from Indigo Blue. You may remember I made a, a, a grungy looking card on craft uh, cardstock for my last um, video. And today I'm using a different set of the colours that from the kits that uh, Indigo Blue sell. sell. The first one was from the Steampunk set, and this one is from the Aqua set. Um, one thing, I'd, I'd learned quite a few things, I have to say, um, during the last video. The pots look very similar, whether they've got the powder in or whether they've got the mix in. So I've scribbled on the top a P for the powder and left the other one plain. Then did the same for this. Well, did it for the steampunks first of all, because it, I was forever picking up the wrong one and trying to <laughs> use it. Another thing I learned was um, you may remember I added some of the colour with some of these sponge daubers, and these are the ones which um, I used. And it's just to show that they do wash out without a problem. Um, I I intended doing this. Uh, video yesterday but I was waiting for this to come. Um, this is a set I bought on Amazon of um, like ink pads, foam pads with the handle and it comes with all these little pots and all all these spare things so if you wanted to keep them for a particular colour you just keep them in the pot and put them back together and it wouldn't dry out and it wouldn't deteriorate. So I was thinking you could use that for these. I was wondering about the size um, and this does actually fit into one of these pots but it's kind of snug. But what I, I did was to put it in, go to the bottom, get some of the paste on there and then use it from my mat like that for applying to projects. The one thing it doesn't do is stay still, it rolls. I'm gonna to have to get one of those chopstick holder things, you know, to keep it still. So this is the card that I made. Um, and what I wanted to try this time was adding um, the gilding gum to an embossed surface. Obviously this looks best on anything that's got some kind of relief. This was my test piece. I've got a bit on both sides. Um, this side, I didn't use the gum. I used the uh, powder, but I inked the inside of my embossing folder, which is this Sizzix one. I don't think it's got a name on here. And then ran it through the machine. Um, and on the, the side that had been inked, I just sprinkled some powder and that was the effect on this side. This side, I used this uh, sponge dauber to add the, um, the colour with the gilding gum included. It's a kind of different finish really, but um, both of them are really interesting. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to get this bigger thing was for adding some of this gilding gum to a, a larger surface. I thought that with these little tiny ones, it, you kind of dobbed it in and it might go into the background as well, whereas a, a larger one would skim more over the surface. That was my thought anyway. So what I think I'll do is I'll just go ahead and tell you how I made this card. So I've already said the first thing I did was to emboss a piece for the background. Um, I can do it for you now. Let's, I've got a little piece here. I think with this product, thicker card works better than thin stuff. And this is quite thin. I used quite thin for the butterflies as well, these butterflies, but I stacked two together for that one because it once it gets the, um, the, the gilding gum on it, it seems to be very kind of, it feels thin. No, I don't use that, do I? What do I use? I use these two. I couldn't 
find feel spin in your Apple Music library. Oh. You can ask me to play a radio station or ask for your music in a different app. <laughs> he loves getting in on the app, doesn't he? I don't know what I say that prompts him to chirp in. I don't know. So here is my embossing. So what I will show you is with the um, the gilding gum. Now, I don't want too much on my sponge to start with, so I'm just going to play with it on here until it's not too much. And then I'm just going to go over. You see? Isn't that a lovely effect? You see that? Isn't it beautiful? Picks... That's the idea of the larger one. Picks up just the tops of the embossing without going right to the bottom. I could try with another colour, couldn't I? This is where I'm going to get in a pickle with them. I don't want to get my fingers too. It's just attached with Velcro. Let's try another one. I've got another one over here. There's a whole bunch in the set. Look, I've got all ink all over my fingers. Let me just wipe them off. It is messy. I'm not used to being messy like this. I might get in a real mess. In a real mess. I think if I'd done it a bit more frequently, I would. Um, I would know what I was doing more. Let's put a little bit on the mat, rather than just. There's such a lot of variety of colour in these, in these powders. I just love them. Right. Let's just. Get a bit on my sponge and we can put some over the over the top in places. No, you can get such lovely, lovely effects. Look at that. Multicolour. Isn't it beautiful? Look. Absolutely fabulous. Often that this this one shows sort of greeny greeny. Isn't that lovely? You can see the other side. This is the convex. This is the concave side. And see this side. Isn't it pretty? Look. Isn't that great? Look. I just I, I try a different way. Get a bit more intense like this. I'm only using this because I don't want to get too messy. Let's put the other one back on. Look, isn't it fab? I got these, um, these pot, look, it is just amazing. Anyway, that's how I did that background strip okay now as for the butterflies let me just cut some butterflies um here's my base plate these butterflies are memory box they're quite old i don't know if they're still produced but there's so many butterflies around and what i've got and what i like about these is the fact that i've got a base and a top layer and the base layer is plain and the top layer is filigree so i'm just going to cut out one of each for now if i was doing it for real i would do an extra one so that i could stack them to get it a bit, a bit thicker right now you can apply this stuff i've discovered with your finger or with um you could put it even on with a palette knife, actually. That would really lay it on quite heavily, wouldn't it? That would be quite interesting, I think. Because it does dry. And unlike gilding wax, which is obviously greasy, waxy, oily, it's di it's difficult to stick things onto things that have got uh, gilding wax on. But because this isn't a wax at all, it's, it's like, I suppose it's like a glue, a bit of a plasticky plasticky glue. I I left some on my table by mistake and there was a little sort of skin and I just scraped it off. Came off 
really quite easily. But I would recommend that you wash down your equipment and your um, mats or and whatever applicators you're using each time. I'm just going to put these at the back before I do actually lose them. It's easily done with me, as people jolly well know. Okay, so what, what I did with the back layer was simply to put a layer on like this. Cheek's drying up a bit already, isn't it? Does dry quite so quite quickly. So if you're doing a project, you don't have to worry that um, you know you wait, have to wait for ages for it to dry. So you can assemble a card. I know often when you do things, I'm going to give this another little mix. It does tend to separate a bit, and if it's left mixed overnight, it seems to thicken up a bit. But the thicker you make it, the more powder you put in. Um, the more intense the colour I found anyway. So the other thing I discovered yesterday as well was I was trying to add this liquid to these little pots that come in the kit with a palette knife and it was difficult. So I bought a little spoon up this time and it's it's much quicker. So a little spoonful of that in the bottom of one of these and then put in the powder and you know it's lovely right with the um the butterflies what i did was i've got all three colors mixed in from the aqua set here um this one's something to do with the unicorns i think its name is um and i think the other two are something to do with mermaids hence the name of the aqua set perhaps i don't know so what I'm going to do is put a bit of the unicorn, whatever it is, in the middle. Please my finger this time. I could use one of those little daubers, couldn't I? And then I'm going to use some green and I'm just going to go from the middle out to the side. Look at this. Well, I told you why you get messy. A bit more green. Could go from here, couldn't I? Doing that middle bit of the wing. And then I can put some blue on the outside. And if you want to hurry up um, the drying process, you can just use your heat tool. But just look at these lovely effects. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Put it any old hair, really. But that this one has got a lot of sparkle in it. But can you see, it feels kind of thin and flimsy, which is why I suggested that you um, stack it or use thicker card. But you could have a different backdrop. Let's do a different colour backdrop on this little one. I'm going to have to give my fingers a bit of a wipe, getting in a right old state. I don't think I could use gloves. Um, I think I would get in a mess. It'd be easier for me to wipe my fingers than it is to uh, to try and wear gloves. Right, okay. Let me just try this little one. Let's put some um, the, of this, the twinkly one on the back this time. Not lovely. Put a bit of blue on the tips. It's almost got a purple hue, this one. And the way I joined the um, bits of the butterfly together were with um, glue dots. Right, now let's do the front. I'm just sticking to these three colours for the minute. It's just so pretty. I did mix up a tiny bit of, I've got um, a whitish one 
uh, the, the luscious powders from Indigo Blue. Um, and I put some of that, I think, on the very, very tips. I'll show you that now. I just mixed it up just to try it. Let's see what that one looks like. It is pretty. This is the white in here. I, didn't, I just mixed it into a little pot. Um, oh, I just put my finger in. Still, it's still moist from yesterday. I put my little dish on the top. See? What's this one called? Magic Sparkle, it's called. But that's out of my stash. It's not out of, it's not out of the kit. There we go. So all I did was assemble the butterflies. You see, that looks really thin. That one is my, is my, I don't know if I can touch it. Oops, a daisy. Can you see? It's, it's got much more substance. I would use a thicker card. Um, and then some tiny little gems in the centre. And a sentiment. And, you know, finished. So, oh dear, did you ever get in such a pickle? So, I, I haven't got much working space here, which is probably one of the reasons why I look so cluttered. But it is fun. The effect is, is just gorgeous and um <laughs> i think you know there's so many things that you can do with a the luscious powders and b the gilding gum i have used it uh, when it's nice and thick you add a bit more powder to make it a bit thicker and used it for stencils um used it through a stencil a bit like a bit like embossing paste so all I can say is, you know, if you've got some, do have a go and it would be lovely for people to show what uh, what they can make. So, as ever, thank you so much for watching.